my name is Ray Olmedo and today I'm here to share with you a devotional about our calling to pray for our enemies. So there is few verses uh, that they're very familiar to us in the Bible that uh, encourage us to pray for our enemies. But uh, this really came into my heart and I started to considering to speak about this when all these things unfold uh, over the weekend uh, in Israel and you know all these attacks and you know it was very fast as everybody what I'm trying to say is like news you know it travels really fast we start seeing we started to see everything very all the images and everything that happened and you start seeing everybody pray for Israel pray, pray for Israel I was one of the ones, it's a good reminder, and you know, that's the first thing that we did, pray for Israel. But in the midst of all of this, when I mean, you know, like, the victims of this now war, who are they? You know that you're called to pray for them as well. We're called to pray, pray for this uh, people and this terrorist group that attacked Israel and all the people in the Gaza Strip and whether they're Palestinians or Jewish, Jews, uh, we are called to pray for our enemies. Of course, uh, we are all inclined to pray for our allies and uh, the God's people because they are our people because we have the same God, and uh, God has entrust, entrusted us with always, you know, supporting them through uh, everything. And we have the Bible to teach us how to do that. But I thought uh, that it was a good topic for me just to share with you where my heart is when it comes to all of this. And as we see all the images developed and all the conflict, just, I think it's been the fourth or the fifth day since that happened as I'm recording and we are over like over 2,000 victims of this and it's only the beginning. I just uh, want to encourage you to pray not only for the nation of Israel, uh, but also for the enemies and all the victims on the other side that they've been paying the price of this now war. So um, let's see what the Bible says about that. So familiar verse is Matthew 5, 43 to 45. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. In Luke, Luke 6, 28 to 28, I'm sorry, Luke 6, 27 through 28, love your enemies, Jesus says, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. And I thought this is so important, the last part of this verse, pray for those who abuse you. How, what a hard calling. And we know, at least I'm gonna speak for, for myself, I know in my flesh I'm incapable of praying for someone who will be abusive to me or to my children, to my family, to my animals, to my church community. But we know, and we, through His Word, we can be equipped so we can be able to do this. Uh, pray for our enemies, those who abuse us, those who hate us, um, those who curse us, and, uh, and the ones who persecute us. And in Matthew 5, it says that you may be children of your Father in heaven. So as we represent our Creator, the one who sent us, the one who created us, the one who made us, this, this is part of the deal. We cannot just speak the nice things and leave the hard ones that we have to do in His name as we represent Him in this world. So these are very 
difficult times that we as Christians are navigating and people is looking at us to see how we react, how are we, who are we praying with and how are we sharing, sharing information about everything that is happening and uh, so we have to be cautious and we have to keep praying over and over so we can honor God in everything we do. And we say, when it comes to this and other people that could be your enemies, I find myself that it's really hard, like when somebody that hurt you, that loves you, hurts you. And because it hurts more, right? So, you know, I think we all have found ourselves praying for people that sometimes we don't like in different circumstances of life. And uh, we have to do this as children of God and we have to be obedient to his word so I um, want you want also to encourage you for a lack of time I'm not gonna get into it and I don't think I'm really prepared this is something probably for Pastor Gary or Pastor Brandon uh, to go over Genesis 16 the story of Hagar and Ishmael also in Genesis 21 the Bible tell us that in the midst of all this crisis that developed between Sarai back then and Abraham and or Abraham and um, Hagar, you know, he showed mercy in the midst of all these times, and he put a blessing upon Ishmael. And although we still live in the consequences of that decisions that they made back then. And we will continue to, you know, God show mercy through all these circumstances. So just visit those uh, chapters, Genesis 16 and Genesis 21, and reflect on them. And before I close in prayer, I want to leave you with this proverb. This Proverbs, it's Proverbs 16, 7. It says, when a man's way, I'm sorry, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. And this is from the New King James. So let's keep all that in mind, church family, and reflect on it and just uh, be very prayerful for all this situation that is happening and do not forget to pray for our enemies. So let me close the closing prayer. Father, Lord Jesus, uh, I pray that you will show yourself in the middle of all this crisis as you have done it before. We know you can do it again, Lord Jesus. We pray for our enemies. You know who they are, and we know who they are, Lord. So just give us the wisdom, Lord, the understanding, Lord, the maturity in you. Equip us to be able to pray with our hearts for them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.